Okay? You can see it right now. Ready? No, Drew, Drew, Drew. Got it, I got it. I got it. What's up? We started this a couple years ago when I took over the garden and my goal when we started the garden was to create a space that the kids could just be a part of. I wanted it to be a school garden. I tell the teachers all the time, it's not the botanic gardens, it's not this like you can't touch it, it's a beautiful garden. I wanted it to be something that they could just have hands in it. Our sunflower project um, got started a couple years ago and I was one of the teachers that signed up right away to get ahead because I really wanted to bring it in the classroom and show the students all about the seeds and breaking it apart and saving the seeds and just to see how excited they are to touch the real sunflower. The sunflower's huge. We've had teachers like Ms. Grooms who have just really gotten on board with the project and created not only science, but math and even writing assignments that go along with it. Well, the engagement is very high every time we go out into the garden. This is a grasshopper, this is a bee. I like bringing the kids out to the garden and watching their excitement and watching their level of wonder and curiosity. Every time we go out to the garden, it's, Mrs. Grooms, there's a bee, there's a bee. And, and they're saying it just like that. Or, look, there's a grasshopper. Or like, they're amazed by the leaves. They're amazed by how tall they are. They get to weave in and out of the large sunflowers. And so every time we go, it's a magical experience. Every time the kids are very excited to be a part of it. I also have plants in my grandma's backyard, but I have a pumpkin. Oh, you have pumpkins? Yeah, in my grandma's backyard. We had Garden Week this year where our uh, PTO created a bee day, a bees, bees and bugs day, and our kids got to go out and be the bees. We made wings and we had costumes and they got to go out and pollinate flowers. We want it to be a place that the kids can learn from. It's not just this like, it was really pretty, don't touch it. I tell the teachers all the time, if you take kids out there and they grab a flower and they pull the whole thing out and the root comes out, it's no big deal because then they can learn about the root system, right? I believe their garden is magical and I think it stands out from other gardens again because of the scale and the, the, the opportunity to go in and be a part of, of the magic. And I think having the whole community involved is a big deal. There's a lot of hard work that goes into this from our parent group and the families that sign up and they take care of the garden through the summer. And even when we harvest, sometimes there'll be little tables out and they give out the harvest to our community too. And so I really think that it keeps people here, it keeps families engaged, and it, and it brings our community together. So it was a fantastic opportunity for our kids.